It's a really big deal over in China and Mexico. The Freescale Cup um, is a race held by Freescale, and then this was the first year that the Cup came to the U.S. And the uh, whole premise is you design a car, a little RC car, so that it can race autonomously around a track. They specify the track. Um, in our case, it was a one-inch black line with uh, one foot of white space on either side. And the objective is to stay on the track and get around as fast as possible without any penalties. There were eight total teams from the U.S. Our car placed best with um, this platform. So uh, this was a success for the University of Michigan. The first challenge that we had with this car is intaking the data sensed by this camera. We must take the analog signal and convert it into a digital format. The next challenge that we had was actually motor control. We had a lot of experiments um, teaching us lessons that can cause h bridges to overheat, motors to overheat, and a lot of little, little subtle things that you wouldn't think about ordinarily. The third challenge we had was finding how to sense the wheel speed on this vehicle. We were very good at measuring high rates of speed, but for slow speeds, it's very hard to do with the processor that we have. The final challenge for us was we wrote all the low-level drivers for everything. So um, we wrote the software that reads the ADCs, runs the MIOS, runs the PIT, runs the DMA. So that presented a very interesting learning curve, getting everything up and running from the ground up. This project is very relevant to the real world, especially in the automotive industry, because we had to solve real-time problems because you do need to worry about how long things take how long your functions are running, runtime um, efficiencies. So we undertook the uh, challenge of developing a class that would take students primarily from electrical and computer engineering backgrounds, but also from mechanical engineering and other departments, and give them the um, skills required to at least get their feet wet um, in embedded control software development. Esports C1 has prepared me um, for what I plan to do in the future. Um, because I expect to be using microcontrollers and actually implementing code and the world is moving to simulating models. So this gave you a really good hands-on experience of making a control algorithm and flashing it to a micro and then seeing it work and it forced you to go through the debugging process as well as the implementation and thinking through the entire process from start to finish.